Ones who just stand in the back with their arms crossed, silently judging us, waiting to decide whether or not we suck. <laughs> all of you, I've got a secret. It's a renaissance festival. This is as good as it gets. This whole place is a monument to disappointment. You may as well be sitting in the shade while it happens. <laughs> we do this trick to say thank you, but also to attract more people to the show. Because we know you will have more fun the more people that are around you. And the best way to attract more people is for you to scream and yell. But that's a difficult proposition, because this is Minnesota. The world capital of passive aggressive behavior. <laughs> you do not express your emotions, you just shove them down on a hard little ball in your stomach and release them at inappropriate times, like Thanksgiving or Vikings games. <laughs> so we will do something so dangerous, you'll be forced to react. And to do it, I'm going to use these authentic orc weapons. <laughs> orc, why, why can't you use elf weapons? Because elves are like a boy band of Middle Earth. <laughs> Serious, watch the two towers again. You put slightly different haircuts on those guys, it's just one direction. <laughs> and if elves are a boy band, what are orcs? Orcs are like Motorhead. That's obscure. You're obscure. Get against the board. Now listen. <laughs> These are actually Brazilian sugarcane machetes. They're designed for maximum chopping power, not for finesse, and they were not designed to be thrown. They come with a long axe handle, but I sawed that off because I wanted to be able to throw them and fit them in carry-on luggage. <laughs> these are highly, highly inaccurate because they got a lot of surface area and they act like a rudder in the wind. So if it's off even just a little bit like this, these things have a tendency to kind of veer off boomerang style in that direction. So if you're over eating, just keep your feet on the ground and be ready, okay? So, I'm gonna try to throw one of these on either side of bald guy without it's Mick. Like it matters. My name is Mick. Now, if I do this without killing him, you should scream. If I do kill him, let's be honest, it's a win-win, okay? <laughs> oh, just a little bit, just a little bit. Just, no, the other way, other way. You have no just idea. Just waving at me with that thing. Stop it's there. I hate this. I hate you. In 30 seconds, my problem will be over. <laughs> so much plausible deniability. No, there's a lady with a camera behind you. <laughs> oh, wow. She flipped that away as fast as you could. That was amazing. No witnesses. Here we go. One, two, three, shoot. <laughs> Oh, yeah! Okay, so yeah, that's, that's what this show's about. It's, uh, that's a lot closer than you needed to get. I know, but it was still cool. It was. <laughs> that's what this show's about, but there's still people standing out there on the fence. Hey, look, I know it's hard for people to make decisions because they are presented with so many amazing things they could be watching. So, maybe we should just show them. Oh, yeah, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we know the choices here at the...